let me share another word of Chinese to you. Master Jin can always share it with me, uh, everyone, everyone. There's, there's a saying I'll translate, nan de hu tu. Nan de hu tu. Nan de hu tu. Hu tu, yes. <clears throat> that means a person in an organization, he needs to close one eye, open one eye. All right, a literal translation, as you can hear from this. So I'm not saying that you can allow and just allow anything, but this is not, you're not in the position of doing that. You're not like the president of this organization managing. If you are, even then, you still also need to learn how to be Nanda Hutu. So what is Nanda Hutu? Hutu is the subject here. Hutu means blur or unclear, you know, be very ignorant. In, a, in other words, ignorant is bliss, right? And then you might ask, why is Buddhism, Buddhism is teaching about enlightenment? Why are we ignorant about? Why, why are you telling me to be ignorant? I'm telling myself and you, and you to be ignorant about things that doesn't matter. To be enlightened about things that will help you in the long run. That is the Buddha Dhamma. That is the, uh, like these teachings that helps you to see through the realities of the society. So you need to be, uh, this is something you accumulate over time. Like there are cases like, like you, or you got the right conclusion. You don't need to know too much about because it's a waste of your space, of your precious life. You're here so hard to find. I mean, so many, after so many lives, I'm pretty sure all of us able to get this Dharma, able to be here and talk about real stuff. And this kind of thing happen is nothing compared to what we have here. What we have here is Buddha Dhamma. And Buddha Dhamma means enlightenment, right? What happens in the world, what happens in this outside world, we can take interest, but it has to be second to our pursuit of enlightenment, our pursuit of completion of our uh, character, right? And also if we can, helping people around us, that, what, that is what matters. So in that, See, in that kind of worldview, you no longer get easily caught up by people's right or wrong, si fei, you know, you don't get caught up in people's drama. You know, that person may be a bit correct, that person might be wrong. You treat it like you watch a movie. You won't dwell on the, um, you know, main character's stuff after you finish the movie. Maybe you dwell on one or two months if you really like that. But after that, you move on with your life. You drive to your groceries, you eat your fuel, you, 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 you continue your life as usual. Same goes for this one. You know, as long as you don't, don't make enemies, never make enemies, because karmically it's a mess. If you make enemies in future, like maybe you're trying to promote Dharma, or maybe you're trying to do good, and then they will become a source of obstacle. Always be on their good side. Bite yourself, bite your time. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, don't don't need to um, don't need to uh, let me say step on anyone's toe. Just do your job. If you do your job, all right. If you dare just to listen to Dharma, it's just do your job. Not trying to look into people's fault, trying to pick on people, trying to think about other people. Sometimes we are wondering thoughts. Of course, we will think about other people. We think about this is wrong, this is right. And I'm not saying that you should be uh, fully close to that. You should be clear about who that person really is. You know, what they say, what they did. If you have to work with that person, you will obviously see that side. Or, you know, you should be clear. Everything here should be clear. But here or here, you don't need to spend energy on it. And if you if you have, um, I would say, as you get better and better, you'll be able to filter out this noise, um, able to see what is this person's role in this organization. Despite the disagreements, right, they're here, maybe 10%, they are here for Dharma. They use that 10%. Maybe they are 90% is covered with desires, ambitions that are unwholesome. You know, they want to take over the organization or they want to take over the, the fame and glory. But always look at that 10%, that, 10 that part where they are genuinely want to listen to the Dharma, we genuinely want to be enlightened. Yeah. 
learn, learn, learn it, learn to be there. I'm still learning. It's it's hard. I'm I'm not saying that I'm there. Or I'm not saying that because I have I myself have so much 